Okay, so this video is a follow-up to a video that I posted on long head bicep tendonitis that Kenzie was having over here in the shoulder, the front part of the shoulder. And so someone asked, what exercises or what can you do to treat it? And this can be a really tricky area because of the, the friction that goes on through the shoulder joint here. And so you have to really jump on it, you know, pretty quick. So progressive loading, which we'll show you a couple of, of options that you can do with this. Progressive loading, putting the tendon under, t uh, under tension it is one of the biggest things that you want to do, just slow progressive tension. And then the other thing is things like cross fiber massage, and I'll show you that. And then also there's some modalities, ultrasounds, lasers, things like that. Although the research on that doesn't support it's being as effective as loading the tendon and the tissue. So, and so what Kenzie's going to do is just very basic. Most people know what this is, right? It's a little dumbbell, lime green, which is my favorite color. And so just a bicep curl. Now here's the trick with this. She can vary her hand position. It doesn't have to be just completely fixed like this. She can start with it in this position, rotate up. Doesn't really matter. Um, but the thing with this is you don't want to do just tons and tons of repetitions. So I would start off doing lower repetitions with a lower weight and then progressively increase the weight. You're not going to be able to take this three pound dumbbell and do the same dumbbell for two months and expect for this to really get that much better. So you have to progressively increase the weight and then you're gonna decrease the repetition some. So I would say something in the, the repetition range of probably eight to 12 repetitions, just my preference. You know, if you start getting 20, 30 reps uh, per set that you're doing, that's a lot of friction that you're causing. So a couple of sets of that, you know, a few times a day, it's something you can take to work, you know, uh, use on your break time, whatever, use it at night. The other is, I like this little band. These comes in sets of three. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, I know. And so just uh, to provide a different uh, form of tension. And this is a great way to do what's called an isometric. Now you can isometrically push against your forearm and hold it like this, um, and, and that's okay. But I like to use this because you really can vary the position and we can vary how much uh, resistance is being applied. So she's holding it at the top, she's just statically holding her, she's moving it slow, then she's gonna statically hold it. And that's called an isometric, where there's a muscle contraction, but there's no joint movement. So we're not sitting here just causing this increased friction. So these are really good for somebody who's having just a ton of pain in the shoulder, and you're not ready yet for dumbbells or even using a, a curling machine, things like that. So you're gonna start with something like this, and that will provide uh, a little bit of a, a, a less uh, invasive uh, irritation to the shoulder. And then of course, you can also get Amazon, you know, Walmart, wherever. You can get these sets of these just uh, elastic bands. And the same thing, she can stand on one end and curl it up like this and hold tension on it. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Or just hold the bottom if you just want to get a set of these and hold the bottom. The thing about the bands only, I'm not a big fan of just using these bands because at the top, there's more resistance than at the bottom. So I'd like consistent resistance pretty much all the way through if possible. Just slow contractions. Uh, and you know throughout the entire range of motion and then with the other thing that you can do if you have someone that can help you with this or if you can do it to yourself you're going to go right to that sensitive spot and you're just going to do like a little cross fiber work like this not a lot of pressure just kind of working up and down um, you can use a little lotion you don't want a lot of lotion because we want to create some of this friction to kind of work on those little collagen fibers in the area and so that's a little cross fiber massage and then people also will use things like those little home tinge units and things like that uh, that they put on. You can order, they're pretty inexpensive just for some, some pain relief that you can use as well. Always, as always, don't perform any of this stuff until you're okay with your primary care health care provider uh, and make sure that you're cleared. And of course, definitely don't use those tins units if you have any sort of electrical implanted device, pacemaker, defibrillator, etc. So uh, I hope that helps, guys. I would give that about a good six to eight weeks and see how it does. Uh, most research says that after about three months of, of trying conservative management, if it's not better, then you may need to have uh, surgical intervention. But of course, I'm a fan of not having surgery if you don't have to. So I hope that helps guys and message me with any more questions. Thanks for watching.